Protea, the Warden, the Guardian of Time, in this game of war, every moment's prime. <laughs> Shut the feck up, Protea. What the hell was that? That was terrible. Now, when Protea first arrived in Warframe, four years ago, she was described as the better Vauban, thanks to Parvus Granum. That was the general consensus within the Warframe community at the time, a new engineer Warframe that consisted of abilities that had been suggested by the Warframe community as a Vauban rework for years. There was a turret, a dispensary, shield regen, she could even do a cartwheel. Poor Vauban, before his rework, was last seen holding a sign saying, will choo choo for ducats, and now she is primed. Protea Prime is a mix of a shield tank and a damage dealing frame. With the past changes that doubled the tankiness of shields and extended the invulnerability period when shields break, Protea Prime finds herself in the strongest position that she's ever been in. Well, Protea in general. So let's just quickly dive into her abilities. Now, Protea's passive is it will boost the strength of every fourth ability cast by 100% directly adding to the damage output, shield regen, extra pickups from dispensary, or recorded damage conversion from her fort ability, as well as mod effects, with the UI indicating at the bottom right of your screen when the next fourth cast is going to be. Now, her first ability is Grenade Fan. Protea's Grenade Fan has two different types. Shrapnel Grenades, which deal slash damage and stagger or push enemies back, and then she has Shield Satellites, which will regen her shields and give her large amounts of overshield while also giving them to teammates in your squad as well. When a shield satellite is broken, it will also extend the duration of her shield gating, which is absolutely god tier. Her second ability is her Blaze Artillery. This sets up an auto-targeting turret that deals increased heat damage with each hit, but the duration of the turret is pretty low, so modding for high duration is definitely what you want to do. More duration means more damage, more heat stacks, and of course more armor stripping as a result of this. Now her turrets, absolutely nuke. These are her best ability in my opinion, especially with Archon Vitality equipped as a mod which doubles the stacks of heat effects per hit, meaning faster stacking, and combined with her fort's augment, this means she can strip armor on enemies in seconds and kill them even faster. Her third ability is her Dispensary. Dispensary cycles through dropping super health orbs, ammo and energy orbs. Modding for strength will increase the chances of dropping two pickups at once. So chances of two energy orbs, two health orbs, two ammo, you get the idea. Dispensary is also her subsume ability that you can put on other warframes and easily one of the better ones to choose from if you're in squad play. Having someone in your squad that has a dispensary, especially in a game mode like say Deep Archimedia, is really really nice to have. Now her fourth ability is her Temporal Anchor. This is the ability that most players in the Warframe community will, I guess, subsume off the Protea. Temporal Anchor tracks Protea's movements and damage, rewinding her back to the point when she first cast it. The rewind is triggered if she chooses to recast it, or if the duration runs out, or if she takes lethal damage. It also causes a damage implosion, which scales based on the amount of damage that she has built up while the ability is active. Now, the rewind visual is quite disorientating for a lot of players, which is why they remove it. However, with our new augment, this ability is quite good, and you can just switch off the ability before the duration runs out and you have to go through that rewind animation simply by holding the ability down. Now Protea or Protea Prime is capable of dealing crazy high amounts of damage with well placed turrets or with I guess a synergy between another ability to maybe group enemies together and she's just a really good warframe for controlling choke points not to mention that she can give you high amounts of shield energy and of course regen your ammo as well so she's a really nice frame to have in your squad she is a frame that really doesn't need a subsumed ability on her to make her better especially now with her temporal erosion augment that allows her to strip enemy armor but if you want to then protea benefits greatly from having ability subsumed onto her like like Nourish, like Gloom, like Korra's Ensnare or Nidus's Larva, although Eximus units now will ignore these, which they didn't before. They were kind of the two abilities that were really good in combination with her turrets, because you could group enemies together, turrets would just blast them to pieces once you could, I guess, group them with Larva. Now Eximus units kind of back that up. Then there is Tempest Barrage from Hydroid, who can then deal corrosive and viral damage in a small area of denial, which will increase her choke point potential, 
but I prefer to go with either Pillage or Rhino. Of course, you're going to have your own preference or your own personal preference. Then you have companion mods like Mystic Bond, Manifold Bond, enhancing her even further, faster cooldowns, armor stripping, and of course, spreading status effects. So more heat procs to go around. Now, like I said, I prefer Pillage for more armor strip and shield regen, or even Rhino's Roar for increased damage. But instead of subsuming out of fort ability or rewind, I wanted to see what it would be like to keep that. So I've switched out of forced ability on two of my setups, right? Only two. I haven't completely replaced it. I'm not that stupid. It is an absolute god tier ability of first one. But I wanted to see what it was like to have pillage and hot temporal erosion mod at the same time. And I just really, really enjoy that setup. Now, this is my build. I have got corrosive projection for additional armor strip. I've got duration with prime continuity and molt efficiency, which is going to make hot turrets stay up longer. I've got Equilibrium, Flow, and Archon Stretch with Dariga's Arc Coil for high energy sustain. And of course, Turret Spam, which is the main part of this build. I've got Archon Vitality for double heat dipping with her turrets. I've got Blind Rage and Power Drift for power strength. And of course, Temporal Erosion the Augment for that armor strip, which works really, really well. So Temporal Erosion adds an armor strip while her Temporal Anchor is active and the amount scales with power strength. It is an ability, like I said earlier, that you can simply turn off by holding down her fort for two seconds. So activate her fort. While it's active, you will pop out your turrets or her shrapnel grenades, and they will then strip enemy armor for each hit that they do by an amount based on your power strength. The turrets by themselves will strip high level armor in the blink of an eye. If you combine this with pillages defensive strips as well, or like I said, Rhino's Roar, which will increase the damage output of those turrets, you will kill enemies and strip their armor even faster. I also have, however, Archon Shards on my Protea Prime as well. More ability duration, casting speed, and just overall energy. Stacking duration shards, if you have them, is the ideal setup here. I didn't, so I just used energy and casting speed so that I could spam those turrets more frequently. In summary, Protea Prime is one of the most effective Warframes at what she does in the game right now. She has the ability to sustain high damage output coupled with her defensive and support capabilities, making her definitely a top tier frame. However, have a great day, have a great weekend. Let me know what, what you think of Protea Prime. And as always, thanks for watching.